Now this is the rotary tumbler from my friends at Frankfurt Arsenal. Now, I haven't used this thing yet. I unpacked it and I just have not had a chance to use it. But let me go over this really quick. I'm gonna tumble some brass and then come back to you and tell you what I think. Now, as you can see, the, it comes with the tumbler, the base, and the base has a three hour timer on it. Has some end caps so you can strain with it. Five pounds of stainless steel pins. Now this only comes with the platinum, not the regular. And a sample of their ultrasonic cleaning solution. Since I have a lot of brass to clean, one little packet is just not gonna do it for me. Now, I know a lot of you people out there have your own recipe for wet tumbling, and I want you to put your recipes down in the comments below because other people might want to do it, including me. I may want to go get my own cleaning solution or come up with my own cleaning solution based on what's working for you. But I went out and bought these. Now these are cleaning packets. They're almost like dishwasher packets that, you know, they, they almost look like dishwasher packets, honestly, that you just kind of toss one in and let it run and do your cleaning with those. Now they say this is a seven liter capacity. I'm going to take the word out. I'm not going to measure out to see if this is actually seven liters or not, but it says it can fit a thousand two, two, three shells in it. Well, here's the brass that I'm going to use. Now I don't have a thousand in here. At least I haven't counted out to see if I have a thousand, but for me, I know a handful of two, two, three brass is about 30 of them. Why do I know that? Because before I started filming, I actually grabbed a handful and counted it. But I'm looking at this going, if that's 30, there's 60. There's no way I have a thousand in here. And I just don't see a thousand fitting in there. Now, maybe it was a thousand nine millimeter and they had a misprint. I could see a thousand nine millimeter, but not a thousand two, two, three. Whatever it is, we're going to load up with this nasty range brass that I have. Now, all of this has been decapped already because I want the stainless steel pins to go in and clean out the primer pockets. So I'm going to load this thing up. I'm going to turn it on. And then I'm going to come back. And we're going to see what it looks like. So I put all the brass in here that I was going to tumble today. And I'm actually surprised at how much this thing is holding. I mean, all of that brass is only coming up to about here on me. So maybe it does hold a thousand. I don't know. But uh, since I don't have a thousand to tumble, I'm going to tumble with what I got and then we're going to do a follow-up video later after I get through reloading season because I do have a lot of other brass to tumble. Smells like dishwasher soap. <laughs> Okay, so that was an hour. Let's see how we did. If I take this off, looks like I had a little bit of a leak here. Now, this could have been from the threads because it's not a whole lot. And if this thing was leaking, I would have expected a lot worse than this. Now I'm going to strain this thing off. I do have my media separator here for my dry tumbling. It also does wet tumbling, um, but I want to test things out. So I put the strainer in. Let's move this over. Put this right here. And let's see what we got. Oh yeah, that's nice and nasty. Oh yeah, this stuff looks really good. Primer pockets. 
not too bad. I mean, it's definitely better than when I do dry tumbling, but I would have expected a little better. Not sure if the pins got in there. Maybe if I went two hours, maybe those primer pockets would have been perfect. I'll have to try that out on another batch. But I like it. It does exactly what it, what it says it does. It's a little on the noisy side, so you're not going to want to run this inside your house or in a room that you're going to be working in. But, um, you know, garage, shop, stuff like that, probably wouldn't bother you at all. So this stuff looks good. I just need to dry it out. I'm going to lay it out and uh, let these things air dry and um, get these on for reloading. Thanks for watching. Hope you're staying safe out there. I look forward to seeing you again soon.